I'm Alan Goldberg, and I'd like to welcome you to another in our series of DigiCape Quickcasts. Last year, Apple announced that they were going to split iOS into iOS and iPadOS, indicating that there was a development stream for iPadOS that was necessary to separate it because there were things that the iPad could do with this large screen that just couldn't be done with an iPhone. A couple of weeks ago, Apple released a major update to iPadOS 13, iPadOS 13.4. And this gave us a range of features that we'd more or less expect from a major update and not a point release. This included full support for trackpad and mouse on the iPad, iCloud folder sharing, which was a feature that was in the beta releases, but it was pulled from the shipping version, new emojis, and Siri had its smarts polished even more. In this quick cast, we'll be looking into iCloud folder sharing. While it was easy to share documents with others in iOS and iPadOS, for the first time we can now share folders with others, a feature that may be a replacement for Dropbox, Google Drive, or even OneDrive for many of you. In this episode, we'll be showing you how to set up iCloud folder sharing and some of the additional capabilities that gives us things that you might not even be aware of. So let's dive right in. Okay, let's see how we can create a shared folder in iCloud. I'm going to go into the Files app. And it stands to reason that if we're going to be sharing a folder in iCloud, we need to be in iCloud. So I'm going to click on the iCloud drive. And inside my iCloud drive, there's a number of items at the top level. There's folders that I've created myself, and there's folders that may have been created by third-party applications like GarageBand, like Graphic, and so on. Now, I have a folder called DigiCape iCloud where I tend to store my work documents. So I want to make a folder inside there that I want to share with other people. There's two ways that you can create folders and share them with people, and I'm going to show you both. So the first thing I want to do is make a new folder, and I'm going to call this one Shared Folder. I now have a folder inside my DigiCape iCloud folder, which I can share. If I long press on the folder, I get the contextual menu, and from the contextual menu, I can choose Share. And for those of you familiar with the share sheets, um, I can share this via AirDrop with a number of people. I can send messages. I can send it as a mail. But the thing that's most important right now is I need to add people with whom to share it with. So if I click Add People, I now have the ability to choose how I'd like to send the invitation and what options under which I want to share it. And there's two very important things here. Firstly, I can choose to send this only to people who I invite or anyone with the link. Now the difference between these two is over here I'm controlling who can access it and here I'm not. If I send the link out and anybody else has the link, then anybody can get into this folder. I can also choose what permissions people have so I can allow people to get inside the folder and add and delete files to that folder or I can make it view only so that they can read files, copy files out of it but they can't put anything into it and they can't change the documents inside there. So I'm going to leave this as the defaults, only people I invite and that they can make changes. So let's see how we go about getting those invitations out to people. So I could choose messages and you can see down here my shared folders are ready in my, my message area. And now I can simply type in somebody's Apple ID, send a message to them, or I can tap the plus button and go through my contacts and add people that way. So let's cancel that out. And go back into add people. And this time I'm going to choose the mail option. Once again, you can see the shared folder. And I'm going to address this to a colleague. And send it off. And once they've received and accepted the invitation, they'll have access to that folder and all the contents inside that I've just shared with them. So that's the first technique of sharing a folder. As you can see, the folder is now a shared folder. It now has an icon that indicates it's a shared folder and it's shared with other people. Now I mentioned earlier that there was a second way to create a shared folder. If you're not overly confident about long presses and all the gestures that the touch interface provides on the iPad, there is a second way. So I'm going to select the top level again and I have a folder up here called Collaborate With Me. 
if I click on select and then choose the folder that I want to share I can now go to my share button down at the bottom and once again I have exactly the same capabilities I can add people it prepares the document for sharing I can copy the link send it via mail send it via slack change all the share options and so on so two ways of doing it one is by long pressing and the other is by choosing select and using the select button and the share sheet So what happens now if I want to stop sharing a folder, if I want to change the permissions or make changes to a folder that's been shared? I'm going to use the long press method. I'm going to go back to my share sheet on my shared folder. And you'll notice that add people has now been changed to show people. So I'm going to click on show people. And over here you can see I can add additional people. If I wanted to remove somebody, I could click on that person and I could remove the access. I could change the share options. I could copy the link and send it to other people. And I could stop sharing. But in this case, we'll just leave it as it is. Now, one of the other features that iCloud folder sharing enables is the ability to automatically create collaborative documents. Some of you may have worked with collaborative documents before where you've got two different people opening up the same document and working on it at the same time. And every time you do that, you have to start collaboration on each document and select the people that you want to share it with. Now, if you're sharing a document with the same people, iCloud folder sharing makes this very simple and I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna open up a pages document and I'm going to go to the folder that we created previously now this looks very similar to our files browser. If I go to my shared folder and open it up, I'm going to create a pages document inside there. And let's just take a, a template and open that up. Now you can see as I've started opening it up, the collaboration icon is already starting to publish this into the folder. So I'm going to make this my CV. And if I go back to my documents folder, you can see this document has been shared by me. If I open it up again, you can see this is now a collaborative document and it's shared with exactly the same people that I shared the folder with. So if I have a folder that I'm working regularly with people and I want to place documents in that I want to collaborate with people, I just pop them in there. They're automatically collaborative documents. Of course, with the expanded functionality that the iCloud folder sharing brings us, we also do have the possibility that we're gonna run out of storage space on iCloud Drive. Uh, we get five gigabytes for free and there are paid plans. So let me show you how you go to amend your plans should you need to. We go to settings, click on our identifier up there and go to iCloud. Inside iCloud, we can manage storage. Now you can see I have a 200 gigabyte iCloud account at the moment, fairly heavily used. I've got about 16 gigs left. So if I click on manage my storage, you can see I can change my storage plan. As I said, I'm on the 200 gigabyte plan. So if I click on there, the only options that I've got is to increase my storage to two terabytes a month. I'm on the 45 Rand per month. If I wanted to go up to two terabytes, it would be 150 Rand per month. And I can also downgrade if for some reason I need to take less. But that'd be crazy because neither of these suit my needs at the moment. On the plus side, any documents that are shared with you with iCloud folder sharing don't count against your storage plan. Of course, any documents you create and share with other people will fill up your iCloud drive. So that's our introduction to iCloud folder sharing. We hope you found it enjoyable. We hope you found it informative. And look out for our next quick cast where we'll be talking about adding a trackpad or a mouse to your iPad. So until next time, this is Alan from DigiCape. Hoping you're well, staying safe in this COVID-19 era. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.